going to try monolid makeup because as you guys can tell I am a monolid which means that uh, my eye doesn't like fit forward and like a crease like most people so I think it's mostly Asians that have some mo mostly Asians that have the strength but many Asians also do have the like double eyelid but I don't and I don't think my dad does so it's kind of like a genetic thing I don't know <laughs> and today I am going to be trying some monolid makeup because uh slowly discovering that uh, American like American uh double eyelid makeup is like very different and it doesn't look as good as uh, as good as as <laughs> I'm finding that uh, American makeup and double eyelid makeup don't look as good at, on you when you have monolid monolids <laughs> can't talk today so I'm gonna try some of that today what I've seen so far is they use the eye it's a dark eyeshadow most on the inside and then it like kind of goes out and then they put like an eyeliner on top see like Korean makeup is like the way to go Asian makeup is the way to go for monolids so let's get started Okay, so I don't have any foundation, concealer, primer, moisturizer, <laughs> or any of that stuff. So I'm going to skip right to what I have, which is eyeshadow, which is not much either. So trying to build it up slowly, but right now I'm not using much, so there's no need to get any. <laughs> but I should probably like start practicing. these three colors so if i'm gonna use all three then the uh closest to my eye line i don't know eye line is going to be this one and then fade out to that one and then to that and then maybe using some like sparkle like this kind of like metallic piece glittery and then putting that like in the center <laughs> What I found is like, you know how uh, American makeup, or makeup, most makeup in general, has a, uh, I'm gonna call it American makeup, I'm sorry. Uh, it like, uh, the center is the lightest and then they dot so the out outer. But if I ever do that, it would mean that my, it literally touches my eyebrows. And kind of impossible for me to do that because Eye shape and monolid, obviously. Let's stop talking because <laughs> no one wants to watch that. Try it. So, any of you monolids out there, or if you are a double eyelid and you want to try it, feel free to follow along. Wait, actually, never mind. This is not a tutorial. I'll link some down below that um I haven't watched yet, but I'm going to try first and then. Maybe watch and then come back with another one. <laughs> I could have done it the first time. So I have my make mirror down here. And I'm going to get started. This is an eyeshadow brush, right? For my mom's small collection as well. As you can tell, we don't really do makeup. So. <laughs> Just hoping that I, once I learn how to do makeup, I can do it for my mom. When she has like attend that graduation or wants to look pretty on Sundays. Extra pretty, because she's pretty already. It's what I noticed is like the top most edge falls underneath the top. Like for the first part, you might want to make it bigger, like around this part where my nail is touching. And go ahead, so this area right here. And then, um, fit it out with a different color or just use a brush and like super blend it, blend it a lot. No, no, 
I did all you have to hear like this much and then once I open my eye it's gone <laughs> It's like uh, I saw some like Asian makeup where they did like an entire thing of uh, eyeliner so it's like the oh, entire eyelid's black and the minute they open their eye it's all gone except for that tiny little line left. says I look like I have a black eye so I think I'm more suited with like reddish pink colors because that's not or maybe it's just my skill I think it's my skill Also go like underneath the eye to make like this kind of effect, but I already kind of have. Like I'm like enhancing my dark circles. Don't get how you can make both sides like look the same because. I think I'm gonna try to do it. Nope, no, nope, I'm not, not trusting myself. I'm gonna grab a sharpener and the eyeliner pencil. I'm not supposed to use it with our supplies thing, but I'm gonna go with that for now. No, <gasps> oh, duh. <laughs> I just said, you can draw your hand. No, duh, of course you can. You can draw your eyeball. No, no, eyelid, <laughs> eyelid. I think it's so light, you can barely see it. Oh, that's dark. Oh, you guys can't see on the camera. It's like black. like smoky eye I feel like a mom. <laughs> well, I look like I have a black eye. <laughs> okay, now you guys can see it. But I look like I have a black eye. It just takes a lot of practice, doesn't it? I mean, if I practice every day for a year and come back again, I would probably improve, right? <laughs> People's like curves up. Is that what it's supposed to be? I think I want to try doing a more reddish look because that's also quite popular for Mamawans apparently or Korean thing. I know all of these are not uh, Mamawans but most of these are like pinkish so I'm gonna try that on this side and hopefully it looks better because second time's the charm, right? It's so For pinkish, I either have this like rose, rosy gold color. I think I'm gonna do that a little later because there seems to like, corners more red and then centers light pink and then it same thing on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to do that. Wish me luck. Okay, so center I think. Light pink. Oh, that doesn't look like light pink, does it? Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> Sometimes people use like a uh, lipstick, and cr this is a lip cream actually. They can use this as blush, eyeshadow, and lipstick so that they all coordinate together. 
Last time I did it, it was pretty decent. So I'm going to try it now with eyeshadow.
mascara. I can tell there's mascara, but I don't think it really holds it up. It just does create a lot of lines. Kind of feel like right now the makeup kind of looks like a current actress. Like her eyes, how it was done. But obviously her makeup. Was So I hope you guys like, subscribe, turn on notifications to get notified when I never post a new video. And follow me on Instagram. No! <laughs> turn on post notifications to get notified when I never post a new video, which is every Sunday. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at WithLinda. And I'll see you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye! I got myself in the mirror again. And I took off my makeup. Oh, and here's the next sorry. Uh, and I looked at it all over again. And I prefer myself without makeup. Most because I can't do makeup. But that's number one. And number two, I'm more used to this no makeup look. Actually, it's really no makeup. It's not the no makeup makeup look. No makeup. Okay, just so you guys know, uh, my mom did not say that was bad, but just she also did not say that it was good. She just said that uh, if you're, I'm going to put mascara on the top, I should also do it on the bottom lash. I was planning on doing that, but I got scared. Such a big wand on 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 the bottom lash makes me feel like I'm gonna get mascara everywhere. So, do people use smaller? I feel like this one is like really big one. Maybe find a smaller one instead. No, I'm really. It's, this time it's gonna really be. Big.